So the hero of this burger story is obviously that sweet, sticky, juicy beef. And then don't forget those crunchy, crunchy shallots and those spicy jalapenos. Ah, oh, this is just like the best, most epic burger combo ever. So the real secret behind that sticky, yummy beef is our sauce. And this sauce is gonna be our braising liquid and then it's also gonna be our awesome Asian barbecue sauce at the end. So it's a two in one. Um, and we're gonna start off with a little bit of garlic and then for some spicy kick, we want some sriracha sauce. Now you could add more or less sriracha sauce depending on how much chili you like in your dishes. Some soy sauce and then some tomato ketchup. And then we want some hoisin sauce, which will give us that Chinese barbecue kind of flavor. Some brown sugar, and then some beef stock. So we just give that a mix till it all comes together. And it's as simple as that. So now let's get on to our beef. So I'm using beef short ribs, and I love this cut of beef because it has some great connective tissue and lots of fat running through it, which is gonna give us super flavor and a super juicy texture. Okay, so I just wanna cut these into chunks. Now, if you can't get beef short ribs, you could use any type of secondary cut of beef. So like a stewing beef or chuck steak or gravy beef, any of those things, or a brisket as well, that would be great. Now you wanna season these generously with salt. So you wanna get as much flavor in here as possible. And now to sear the beef. So I'm gonna add a little bit of oil and just pop those beef pieces into your pan. And I like to do this in batches because this is where you're really adding some extra flavor. So this is not about sealing in juices or any of that kind of rubbish. This is all about getting that caramelization and that brown, beautiful color on the outside of the beef. And that color is flavor. Make sure you're getting all the sides. And now we're gonna deglaze the pan because of course all those bits and pieces in the bottom of the pan, that's all flavor as well. So we're gonna deglaze with our sauce. And I want that sauce to get bubbling and nice and hot. And I'm just using a spatula to scrape off all those little bits and pieces from the bottom of the pan as well. Mm, that is smelling delicious already. Now those beef pieces go back into the pan and I just wanna tuck them in nice and snug. Make sure they're all getting covered with that sauce. Okay, so lid on. And then we wanna pop this into a low oven for about three hours. So the hardest part about slow cooking is dealing with that hunger while the house just fills with that beautiful smell. Ah, oh, these just smell amazing and they just look so perfect. I can see that that beef is fork tender and it's got some beautiful color as well and that sauce is nice and thick. So I'm gonna take those beef pieces out and look at that, that bone is literally just falling out of the beef, that's how tender it is. And now to turn our braising liquid into the most amazing barbecue sauce. So pour off that liquid into a saucepan and I can see that a lot of the fat from the beef has rendered out into that sauce. So I'm gonna use a ladle and just scoop off some of that fat from the top. And now we just heat that sauce up until it just thickens slightly. It's already nice and thick, so it'll only need a couple of minutes of bubbling and simmering away. Mm, and the perfect flavor. It's sweet and a little bit spicy. It's like just the ultimate Asian barbecue sauce. Now we just wanna take the bones out of this beef and shred it up a little. I like my pulled beef to be a little chunky, so I'm not gonna shred it up too much. And now pour some of that epic sauce all over the top and give that a good mix. It is so hard not to resist eating this entire plateful right now, but there are burgers coming to remind myself. Now you want plenty of that soft tender beef on your burger. And then burger construction to me is a little bit of an art form. So I like to put my cheese down on the beef so that it gets a little bit melty and then a little bit of crunchy cabbage. And because I like things quite spicy, I'm gonna go with some jalapenos on that. And I'm gonna put a little bit of coriander. Now I know not all of you love coriander. You can just totally leave that one out. And my final secret ingredient is crispy shallots. This stuff is like extra umami, extra crunch, extra, oh, just extra. And bun on top. And there it is, the ultimate burger. Once I start eating this, it's all over Red Rover. I'm gonna to have to go, because it's gonna be messy.
Mm. <laughs> I'm not joking, you too. <laughs>